Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review would be Keep Breathing, a Netflix original series. Let's get into it. Subscribe to the channel, like the video right off the bat. So, um, back in my bag right now, uh, watching uh, flicks and uh, different shows and doing my reviews on it. So, uh, I peeped this series on Netflix, and I figured... Let me tune in and see what it is. And I'm going to save you the time by listening to my review so you won't take the time out to watch the series. Let's just go over the cast. The cast is not long. Um, you got Melissa Barrera plays as Liv Rivera. You have Jeff uh, Will Bush plays as Danny. Um, Austin uh, Stowell plays as Sam. Uh, Florencia Zano plays as Lucia Rivera, which is Liz's mom. You have Juan Pablo Espinosa plays as Tom Farrell as Liz's dad. And you have Mike um, Dupard plays as George. Now, um, Mike Dupard, he plays in that uh, series I reviewed, um, or that, that uh, zombie apocalypse that was on um, a sci fi channel. That was real good. Um, that was real good. But nevertheless, Let's get into it. So what happens is, let's just start here. Regardless of what I say about this, um, this TV, this uh, Netflix series, Le, uh, Melissa Burrell, she did a great job on her acting performance. She really um, draws you into the character and experiences. Now what is happening in you, the series goes back and forth from present to past so you see um liz she's at a um air uh airport she's trying to get somewhere her flight is canceled and she's desperately trying to get to where she want to get to and the agent at the front desk of the airport just basically told her you know get lost and she seen two men that were leaving on a private plane and pretty much begged them to take them with her now she didn't know these jokers from a can of paint and she pretty much begged them to let uh, her drive now George pretty much didn't want her to go you find out why but Danny not Danny, I'm sorry. George didn't want her to go, but Sam insisted when she said, I basically cash app you or VM you, VMO you, uh, VMO you $1,000 each. So they agreed. They're on a flight. And it's a bumpy flight. And all of, out of nowhere, she basically said she wants to um, take a nap. When she comes to, the plane is going down and uh, they crash into a lake and Sam can't swim but he instantly panics and just bails out the plane. George is stuck in a plane so they, the plane didn't sink yet but because Sam panicked and just darted out the plane it tipped the plane over to go down faster so George was stuck. He can't get loose. She tried to um, help him out, but she couldn't. And so she had to save herself and get, get going. And when she came out, Sam couldn't swim, of course, and she had to help him. Um, she had to help him uh, swim. So they, she got him back to the shore, not before she found out that he got took... Um, Something metal off of the plane inside his leg, so he started bleed out, and then he started to panic, and she pretty much tied it, um, tied it tight enough so it could stop the blood, but not before realizing he was still in pain when he came to, he was basically bleeding internally, where his uh, ribs and everything was crushed inside. So now, she was like basically telling him like he was conscious enough, like oh you know. I heard y'all talk to the people. When they find out that you're missing, they're going to come looking for us. And he pretty much was like, no one's coming looking for us. Basically, we didn't 
we wasn't talking to nobody. We was flying underneath the radar. So now she's stranded on this in the middle of nowhere. Nobody knows she's out there. Now she gotta survive. So this movie, whole series about survival, and he dies right there. And now she gotta start to figure out how to live off the land, off the little knowledge she knows. So she um, triggers that she's gonna have to go back in that plane. And because he was before he died, before Sam died, he mentioned he gotta get, you know, where's the bags? Where the bags at? So she go back and get her bag. And the two bags that they had on the plane. Come to find out, they were smuggling drugs. So it was on. Um, they were smuggling pills, and they had a whole bunch of money. So the ghost of Sam becomes her talking mate throughout this whole series. Now you start to see flashbacks of she's an attorney, and her mom left her and her dad because the mom had um, mental issues, and the dad had to pick up the slack. Of raising Liz by herself. Meanwhile, you also see through the series that the dad ended up becoming sick, and it was hard for her to watch her dad die because, of course, he's her hero. And so the dad eventually passes away. You find out that in the series. You also find out that the mom, even though the mom left her, the mom was always writing her and stuff like that. The dad just never gave her. Um, just never gave her the information, the um, letters and stuff. So the mom is still alive. Meanwhile, she met Danny. And he, he was probably like, he worked at her firm. And, you know, she really just, she was all about her work. And she ain't got time to play. But Danny was fine of her. And he kind of like hung around her. And then she was attracted to him. So, of course, they hit it off. Of, and, you know. But she didn't want it to interfere with her work. So eventually, she was kind of doing what her mom did because her mom was a painter and she didn't want nobody to interfere with that. And so she eventually got pregnant with Danny. And so this whole time she's out in the wilderness, she's pregnant. So um, she has to figure out everything, how to set up a camp, set up a fire, um, boil water because you, you, of course you can you know parasites and all types of stuff is in the water in the lake and so when um when she uh, figured all this out she used the, the bottle that the pills was in she used that to as her drinking bottles with water and when it rained, she filled it up. So one time she went up on a mountain when it went dark, she seen that um, it was light still somewhere. So you find out what that light was at the end, but nevertheless, she sailed. So she pretty much figured I gotta go and figure that out. So now she goes and she's lost. She's walking in circles, but she's determined. So this whole thing is about survival. She's going back and forth with her past, everything she was dealing with with Danny, and that was her drive to get back home with him. And plus, she's pregnant during this whole time. At one moment, there was a bear out there, and then the bear disappeared. And then she just was, she fell through a hole at one point and pulled herself out and fell off a cliff. Then when she was on the cliff, she had a wounded leg, and pretty much she was like at the end of her ropes, about to give up. And she jumped in. The, um, she was then she was talking to the ghost of her dad. She was talking to the ghost of her mom, and pretty much she let. That was just her way of letting go of her dad. And then she jumped into this. Uh, like a stream and it carried her and pretty much she was giving up and she thought, you know, she would have been dead, but then it showed two men pull her out of the lake and then they put the uh, CPR on her and she coughed up uh, the water and that's when it went off.
So this is saying season one. So season two could be those not necessarily good men who picked her up. And the light that she was seeing, those men was out there. I take it was burning fire. Where I think this went wrong is that uh, her, you know, the actress, her acting was good, but the, it wasn't a good enough storyline. Like it was more story of her backstory about her life, what led to this moment. But then, like she didn't go through enough in the survival action of it. Like she didn't go through enough to me. That's where. I guess that's where it soured for me. You know, I got through it, but you know, when I, you know, when you get through it, you pretty much like ah, I seen better survival movies. Of course, we seen um, uh, Tom Hanks. You know, that's probably one of the best survival movies. You know, we've seen. Well, I'm not comparing it to that, but I'm just saying, like, um, we seen I Am Legend. You know. Or whatever. So this, you know, the storyline could have been better. But if I had to rate the series, and of course, when you do a review, when you're doing a whole over a whole series, it kind of doesn't do it any justice. But what the heck? I'm saving you time um, to go watch instead of watching the whole thing. Out of my four star rating system, I get this a two out of four stars. You know, if you you ain't got nothing else to watch and you interested enough, intrigued. Take your time, watch it, but you'll instantly understand what I'm saying when you watch it. Like, okay, because after a while, it's moments where it could just get boring, where you just like, ah, you know, this has become redundant. Um, you know, you might turn it off, you might not even make it through it. So, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.